So I just watched the Assassin's Creed movie in 3D, and uh, if you also are going to the Assassin's Creed movie, um, the credits are hella long and there is no Easter egg at the end. Spoilers. But I'm, I'm saving some of you like five minutes of waiting. The, those credits are hella long. Um, so I got back and uh, <clears throat> I know that uh, Dark Matter 2525, he, he pressingly wants me to address this issue because he sent me uh, a direct tweet about it. But he also left the same information in comments on uh, my videos. And I've been talking about him in, in the past few videos. And uh, I'm always ready to make an apology and retraction video, uh, if need be, talking to anyone. And I have done so in the past um, on this channel in, in the many years I've been on it. And I was also ready for uh, a different contingency in, in this case, because I had set a sort of trap, because you can't really catch a plagiarist um, just by showing things these days. You have to really start the conversation with them and, and, and bait them and get them to say certain things in order to really, you know, cinch that noose around their neck. Um, so I was ready, you know, if Dark Matter 2525 were to say that uh, he was the author of the anonymous uh, post on superbeefy.com 10 days before the release of his video he was trying out his argument on some obscure website when he was about to display this for the world on a, on a much larger scale like for for what I don't know but uh, I was I was prepared for him to say that so that I could just go one more step down the human centipede of shit eating plagiarists to show that even that was wrong and and he gave me what I wanted in acknowledging that the new goalpost was that he had been working on the script for a month. So that gave me the the time frame to work with so that I could just go right before that and prove, you know, if it was before November of 2009 that I had similar numbers that, well, he was lying. And then I, w I was prepared for the contingency that, that, that the whole conversation would devolve into, well, you can't be expecting everyone on the internet who's in the entertainment section to be putting up citations, you know, and, and to me, it's more about how people hold themselves. Like, if you were to watch uh, Adam Ruins Everything, you know, you'll see citations pop up everywhere, kind of like the old VH1 shows that had the info on, you know, that's like trivia. You know, Adam Ruins Everything is a good example of what I would expect from somebody who puts himself out as a skeptic and makes little entertainment vignettes like Dark Matter. Um, and gets asked his opinion on things all the time in, in the skeptic world. But uh, <clears throat> what I was not prepared for today um, actually was was something... This It's never happened to me ever um, in this way. Now, Dark Matter 2525, after saying that he's uh, been summa cum laude, uh, when he graduated and he knows how to do attributions, he finally, after days of me saying, you should just cite your sources, he threw up uh, three links to uh, different places that he says were the places that he got the numbers from. Right? So, <clears throat> th these numbers being the amount of food that all the animals ate that was uh, featured in the previous video. So, yeah. I, I saw his posts. I, I rolled over out of bed. I saw it, and I was like, oh my goodness, I might be wrong. Let me go upstairs and check, right? Because if I am wrong, I need to post right away. Um, obviously, I, uh, I didn't post right away. Because <clears throat> I was checking for two things, all right? One, that the numbers were... Uh, in the ballpark, okay, which they were, you know, and then two, and this is the most important part of sources, uh, that they preceded his published work. So they would have to come, you know, on the on this timeline here, right, they would have to come somewhere over here, right, not over here. But unfortunately, in, in the worst fumble at the one yard line that I've ever seen 
uh, Dark Matter 2525 provided me with sources for his published works that are actually after um, his published date. And that is... I don't even know how to explain how I feel right now about this because I, I, I'm taken back to this, this time when I was like five years old and I heard stories of how like the pilgrims came to America and the, uh, the Native Americans had no word for liar. And so they said things like, white men speak with pork tongue. And I know that's probably totally false, but that's the story that that's just immediately popping in my head. Because how, how, if you know how to cite sources, like you say you do, how do you give sources that, that were, were posted after you published work? Now, how do I know this? See, I, I, I'm betting that Dark Matter... In, in his uh, fervor to prove his 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 uh, his legacy is untarnished on YouTube and that he's not a plagiarist, he just scrambled and found any sort of zoo website to fit his narrative that that had similar numbers. And he had plenty of time. I mean, he had days, right? But um, maybe he was betting that there was no way for me to check how old each of these web pages that he linked me were. So now I'm going to show you how I found out how old these links were. Um, first, he gave me the Oakland Zoo, and the, we'll, we'll just use that as our example, right? And so there's, here's the page URL. And what you got to do in order to use Google to see the first time that Google ever crawled over a web page, uh, you replace the first part of the URL with... Instead of HTTP, you do IN URL, colon, right? I love these teaching moments where I can teach people how to fish so that, you know, nobody else gets caught like this. So uh, then after you hit enter, you'll get this search string at the top, and you can put this formula that I'm going to put on the screen uh, at the end of that search string. And what that'll do is it'll add... Uh, when the first time Google crawled over that page was to show how old the page was to the descriptions in all of the links below. So uh, when I checked the oaklandzoo.org slash elephant.php, which Dark Matter says, I, I remember that these are the links that I used, and this is where I got the information. And oh, th this is the, the kicker here. The last... The last part of his sentence was, it's almost as if I'm telling the fucking truth. And I just proved it. So you can go ahead and upload a retraction and apology, asshole. Um, no. Uh, the, the word almost is actually the operative word in what you just said there. Because um, when you see what Google comes up with, it says that the Oakland Zoo elephant webpage first got crawled in February 21st, uh, 2012, which was how many years after your work in 2009? So you're trying to tell me that the Oakland Zoo, a major zoo in a major U.S. city, didn't have its, its web pages crawled until 2012, but you used their numbers in 2009 in order to make your video. Okay, next one came from the San Diego Zoo, and it was about giraffes, and it was first written on September 4th, 2012. Also after your video. Um, yeah. Whew! So the third one actually did uh, happen before your video. That happened on January 12th, 2004. So two out of the three links that you gave me were false attributions in order to save your lying ass. And I'm just going to say... Um, you, you have no... 
standing with me anymore on this issue. You have no credibility at all with me. Um, this, this was the point where I'm like, holy shit, have you been doing this for so long that you thought that it'd be this easy? Maybe don't throw around the fact that you were summa cum laude um, when you're doing this kind of shit because you are really tarnishing your university's reputation. I'll tell you that much. Holy shit. Um, so yeah, no, there's not going to be an apology today. Uh, maybe he can try again, but maybe save face somewhere else. But uh, for me... I would say that Dark Matter 2525, uh, after having cited sources that happened to be posted to the internet after his published work, um, he is a liar, and, and quite a bold one at that.